Welcome back to beyoungministry.blogspot.com to another podcast and another blog out of the Gospel according to Luke. Today we're in Luke chapter 8 verses 30 through 33, which reads, Jesus asked him, what is your name? Legion, he said, because many demons had gone into him and they begged Jesus repeatedly not to order them to go into the abyss. A large herd of pigs was feeding there on the hillside. The demons begged Jesus to let them go into the pigs, and he gave them permission. When the demons came out of the man, they went into the pigs, and the herd rushed down the steep bank into the lake and was drowned. That's Luke chapter 8, verses 30 through 33. As we mentioned in the last two days' blogs, and podcasts. In the second half of Luke 8, Luke records four miracles. Through these four miracles, the power of the Lord Jesus is seen over nature, demons, sickness, and death. Today we continue with the second of these four, the power of the Lord Jesus over demons, in Luke chapter 8, verses 26 through 33. When the Lord Jesus asked the man his name in verse 30, he said, Legion, because many demons had gone into him. Legion is not a name. It it describes a group of 6,000 Roman soldiers. This poor and frightened man literally was the home of thousands of demons. In fact, in Mark 5.13, we discovered the herd of pigs into which the demons went, numbered 2,000. And these demons had held this once free man in bondage for so long. In verse 31, we read, And they begged Jesus repeatedly not to order them to go into the abyss. These are fallen angels asked. These fallen angels asked the Lord Jesus to not send them into the abyss, the bottomless pit. They didn't have a choice in the matter. On the other hand, they are not like human beings. They're not confined to the limitations of the human brain. They have far superior intelligence. They have superior might. In 2 Kings 19, we Learn one angel killed 185,000 Assyrians, and yet they didn't have a choice. Their will ultimately was subservient to that of the Lord Jesus. Once created, demons never die and they never grow old. They are not confined by space and time, they are not omnipresent. They're fast, and they move the way spirit beings move. They make up a large and powerful group. The Lord Jesus demonstrates clearly that he is God, as he demonstrates his power over these demons. These demons were tormented, tormenting pardon me, this guy, and they don't want to be tormented. Oh, the irony. Those who torment, do not or do so because they have been tormented and they arrive not upon God's purpose of the said torment. The purpose, of course, is that we are led to faith in the God of the Bible. We pity those who are treated badly, and we should, but they are in a blessed position because when we are most downtrodden, We tend to look up to him when we have bottomed out. The alternative is a victim's mentality, which I find most pathetic. Power, real power, is accessed through weakness. This is the way of God. Although the power leads us to bondage of some kind, most often the bondage of pride and arrogance. According to verse 32, a large herd of pigs was feeding there on the hillside. 
The demons begged Jesus to let them go into the pigs, and he gave them permission. This is the first mention of deviled ham in the Bible. Remember, this is Gentile area. And these Gentiles raise pigs, which have a cloven foot or feet, and were therefore unclean according to the Old Testament, and not to be eaten. And so, in this Gentile area, they were raising pigs. And the demons entreated him to permit them to enter them. I wonder how this man became demon-possessed. How did they enter him? Since he lived among the Gentiles, did he open himself up to the habitation of demons through totally ignoring God's definition of all things? Was he practicing black magic, or was it an experiment with a Ouija board or a pendulum board. For one to be possessed, there has to be a conscious way that one opens oneself up to the possibility. We are not told how it happened to this man in our text. In verse 33, we read, when the demons came out of the man, they went into the pigs and the herd rushed down the steep bank, bank into the lake and was drowned. So they didn't go into the abyss, that incarcerated place. But they ran into the abyss of the Sea of Galilee. The pigs drowned, but the demons didn't. No created being ever really dies, including evil spirits. These demons recognize something that many do not today. They recognized and believed in the existence of God. They also recognized the authority of the Lord Jesus. In the end, 2,000 pigs went careening down a hill, drowning. All of these events happened to show that the demon-possessed man had been delivered. And the Lord Jesus is sovereign over all. My friends, I trust this blog and this podcast are helping you in your walk with the Lord. If I can be of further assistance to you, shoot me an email at beyoungministry at gmail.com. Hey, have a great day.